Kara's pretty good against, well, okay. He's not good against Sheik. But it's just the one mistake you make it costs you your life in this matchup. It's one of those matchups where Sheik has to play perfectly, you know? Agreed. And here we go, game one. All right, here we go. Starting this off on Smashville again. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know what the deal is with Lucario in his stages. I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know much about Lucario. I know he has that like, head bonk thing, but that might be on every stage. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, I think he's fine on this stage because, for the most part, Sheik killing off the side is not that much of a threat if you pick your defensive options correctly. Absolutely. And like this is a pretty explosive matchup for Lucario. Like he's gonna get like a heavy percent. And if she can't find the kill early enough, she'll get back here to like a 30. Yeah. And you can see already Amadeus is just like, I need to get this up stretch. I need to get this guy out of the way right now, otherwise the match gets really hard. And even if he does take the first stock, Lucario on second stock is even scarier. Yeah. The back air. Oh no, re grab. Uh oh, didn't go for the ledge. Interesting. Yeah, I like the Aura Spear Punish, though, because it would have covered ledge and regular. So, like, him getting on stage was covered regardless. One more neutral exchange from ZTG, that it puts Sheik in kill percent. So, it's important to see how he closes it out. Living. Yeah, he's a little heavier than it Ooh. looks. But that Bouncing Fish is going to do it. Yeah. I think that's the first one he hit, so it must have been fresh. And I've talked about this before. Sometimes when you're in the air, you're, you just got hit. You turn your brain off, you're like, all right. You're thinking about your next move, and then you're already back up there in your face again, and you're not ready for it. So, good on Amadeus. Capitalizing on, like, lapses and thinking. And now I don't know if he's going to kill him until he's at, like, 80. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, really good that Amadeus was able to take that first stock so quick. And this isn't too bad of a spot for Amadeus, so I, he's going to be having a good time racking up this percent. It's gonna need, right now, it's pretty much only smash attacks and back air that'll kill him right now. Yeah, I wanna see like the Aura Spear uh, kill confirm, the uh, Aura Spear on smash. Yeah. Oh, he's trying it right now, but Amadeus is not in like, the position. And he might also be able to get the down air into like the side B. Correct. He's looking, but, you know, still though, you can never count Lucario out. We'll see how it goes from here. I don't know how he's gonna take this first Sheik stock though. Waited, they both waited. And I miss seeing the Lucario too, because like I'm so used to seeing his me fighters. Oh yeah, yeah. This also opens up like counter pick in the later of the set, just because like DK is really good against Lucario. Oh yeah, he is. And we all know he has one, so. Yeah, I wonder if he's like dead set on using the Sheik though. He's I, I like the idea of like learning a new character. And ooh, that exploded. All right, this is. <laughs> I don't want to say this is even. Oh but... yeah, he'll need a. Actually, in 20 to 30 percent, he'll be winning. <laughs> He's almost winning. Indiana. Oh, there we go. He's winning the fight. He's winning. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how polished he is on his kill confirms. Like, uh, we'll see how it goes, though. For new Sheik players, this is this is the struggle right here. This is what separates you from like a top Sheik. Yeah, very handling the situation. For a very long time, I wanted to play Sheik. And I tuned into Void Stream, and I was watching his Sheik versus like a Wi-Fi Bowser, and the Bowser was a 200%. And I'm like, never mind. <laughs> there we go. The hard landing. Maybe's not the best recovery option from Z2G. Maybe he wanted the ledge and he missed, but either way, it cost him this game. That's just more like Lucario knowledge. Like sometimes when the Lucario is a crubber on the stage, they know they kind of have to sometimes. But the, yeah, I don't know what determines like how much lag there's going to be when they hit the stage. It Maybe like depends like, on the angle you hit it. If you hit it like diagonally, is you it get like a small amount, smaller amount. If you just like fast, if you free fall into the ground though, that's like the most lag. And that's what he did there. Okay. Do you know that it is? Uh, it is. The angle, does, does the percent have something to do with it too? Like, does Lucario's like rage and aura? No, the only thing the percent affects on his up B is the distance he goes. The higher percent he has, the more, okay. more distance he can cover. Right on. Oh, we're back. Yeah, I definitely expected this stage coming out as ETG. A uh, great stage for Lucario because he's got the wall cling aspect. Yeah. And if you don't know how to deal with the wall cling, it can actually be really like jarring. The first time you see it in the game, you're like, uh, wait, what? She can uh, do it too, but I think Lucario gets a lot more out of it. He gets the wall clean the back air. Wall clean the back air is like the big one. Because even if you hit shield, that's so much pressure. It makes the ledge safe. Oh, he's living though. Indiana's out here for their boy. 
Yeah, well, as they always are. A yeah, good amount of Indiana here this year. I mean, it's just bigger than last year for sure by a lot. So good you job. definitely have to be here to see. Oh it. my God, that almost they, killed. They are all watching so closely as this happens. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Good, good DI. Well, I, that might have done it. Going living, kind of late. Living, living. But the next one will be a huge threat. Oh, what a read! He's just uh, reacting. And it's a little harder with Sheik because, like, her standing animation and her roll animation are kind of similar. He went for the jump read. Oh, oh that's no. a smash. Yeah. I don't think he was feeling oh. it. Oh, jump right into it. And here we go, Z2G finding himself in a good spot to oh bring it to a game three. See? I mean, a little too early to talk about that, but still, Lucario can get a lot of mileage from the stock. Yeah. Not dead yet. Oh, I've never seen that before. Oh, oh wow. that was pretty tricky. Clean that up really nicely. Now we're going to see a 1-1 one -one stock situation. Kind of seems like he's getting more of the wall playing this game. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, pretty much dead even right here in this game, too. Yeah. And again, we're still in best of three territory. It's the damage. And like, this is just the bread and butter for she. The easy stuff. This is the easy stuff. Cloud is popping off for their boy right now. Uh, still kind of early to tell before anything goes oh, yeah. anywhere. There it is. Both of the characters in, are like far from their respective kill windows. It's just it's the mid game right now. We're in the late. Once we get to the late game of this match, it's just gonna be like, who can get the, the kill? Yeah. Oh, it's getting more and more pressure coming out for Z2G. Oh. A lot more pressure he's coming out for him. He's oh, no. using the wall so well. Oh, here we go. No, he's done, yeah. Couldn't up be again. That's going to do it. We just see it too well for Amadeus. Amadeus actually got so much mileage out of the wall that game. <laughs> and, like, it kind of felt like ZTG's uh, counterpick kind of bit him.